Yo, 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 what's going on, gamers of Game S today? We're back again for the final ODST episode. This is gonna be a kind of a long one, so buckle up, buckaroos. So we got one more thing to inspect here. Well, maybe we have another one after. Actually, no, this might be the last flashback. I'm not too sure. I don't remember. Whatever, we'll find out together. How bad? Not good. We're gonna get you out of here. We're almost there. Put me down. Put me down for a sec. Dutch, medkit. What's wrong with him? He's got a punctured lung. Can't breathe. Better? Trains ran underground up to the old city. We're gonna find one of the tunnels. Walk on out of here. All right. You're gonna carry me all the way, sweetheart. Was planning on it, but now that you're feeling better. Get the door! This means we're screwed, right? Not yet. Wait here. We're gonna steal that ride. It's landing. Now's our chance, Mickey. Go with me. Great. I can fly a pelican, but a phantom? It's been you can do it. You got it, buddy. Well, let's see what you remember, Trooper. I was going to say, it's kind of dark, and then I forgot. I have visor mode. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go steal a... We're going to steal a phantom, I guess. Is it a phantom, or do we steal a banshees? Maybe we do steal a phantom. I actually don't remember. It's been a minute. I have a feeling it's going to be a banshee. Yeah. Because we have to defend ourselves, and with the phantom, I remember, I remember, I remember. I'm sorry, I'm re I remember. More of those floating squids. Should we smoke? The rest of our team is gonna fly. Phantom. What do you think? The phantom, while we go pilot a banshee and protect the phantom. That's how. It, that's how it is. That's how we do it. Now, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This is going to be... There's about maybe four... Maybe... F One, two, three, four. Or three. There's about three missions left. But we're going to try to blast through them really quick here. We're only on medium, so I mean... Or normal, so... Shouldn't be a problem, right? Did that... That engineer just blew up. Engineers... Were they in Halo Reach? I... Okay. Okay. I remember those, they were in another game. It was probably, yeah, I think Halo Reach. And I'm pretty sure they had way more health than the ones here. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Because the next the next series we're going to do is Halo Reach. I hope you guys enjoy that. That's that's a lot of people's most favorite one, too. It's, it's another spin-off game that's different than the main franchise where you, and you don't play as the chief you play as your own custom spartan so maybe i can flex off some of my uh my cool armor unlocks that i unlocked from playing the master chief collection huh wouldn't you like to see that have a little more more of a personal 
kind of character. Where they don't speak for ourselves, we speak. We speak for ourselves. Know what I'm saying? Is he going or what? There we go. Frick, man. Take your time. Take your sweet ass time. Okay. Very good. Let's get the hell out of this place. How do you use the like the uh, the cool little tricks? Uh, oh, oh, I don't remember how to do the cool tricks. Now you could you could like roll around. Oh, I should learn quick. I can't do it. I don't know. I don't want to jump out by accident either. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you, gamers. Maybe on controller I could figure it out, because I've played my whole life with a controller. I've only started playing PC games within, like, the last year. This being my first gaming PC. So that's why I'm so bad with the controls for PC games, because I never play PC games. I literally only play PC games when I record PC games. What I always do every time I record is I take a little bit of, like, pre-workout just to wake myself up a little bit. But I'm going to try to stop doing that. I'm going to try to stop taking pre-workout and caffeine because today was a rough day. I, doing YouTube while also having a full-time job is kind of hard. Really hard, actually. And I'm always tired. And so today, especially, me having to wake up at 6.30 but also staying up till like 2.30 so I can get the thumbnail and the video edited. I'm tired all the time. So... Today, this this recording, I haven't taken pre-workout. I'm really tired. This whole day today, I took one, two, close to 500 milligrams of caffeine, I'd say, at least. That's the minimum I took today. So, I feel like if I take another scoop of pre-workout, it's probably going to be pretty bad for my heart. So, I don't want to take any more caffeine today. So, if I'm a little off or seem tired, I'm sorry, I am tired. 10 minute part time, so I'll probably get through this mission for myself in about another 15 minutes, maybe. Hopefully I can pump it out really quick. Obviously I'm not gonna try to go for a part time because uh, that's hard. And I'll be skipping a lot of stuff. Okay, you guys gotta stop targeting the engineers and actually going for the real threats, okay? Stupid idiots. Don't you know they're peaceful, harmless creatures that are obviously taken advantage of by the Covenant for their abilities? Let's blow this thing up. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, now's my chance. Dude, I don't know what, what do you what does this game want me to do, dude? This is pissing me off. Man, I literally don't know what to do. I can't open this any bigger. The stupid Phantom is stuck after he starts the goddamn mission. What a waste of freaking footage, dude. That was like half an hour of my fing life. Now it works. Why didn't that work before? Stupid ass game, dude. Man, that just pissed me off. That took me right out of the mood from recording. Stupid bitch. Stupid ass bitch. The game. Let's blow up one of these things. Another one, another one, another one. Blast it, blast it. Oh, we blew it up. Okay. Uh, drop one there. Which knee you reckon we should go for? I thought I already... Ankle. This one. We're going for this one. There we go. Okay, we're going to destroy this thing. Let's go the cool way. Okay, I'm dead. No, I'm not. That was very close. Ugh. Let's go, let's go. We got this, we got this. Shoot. I'm out of all my ammo. What a perfect time to run out of ammo, dude. Okay, that thing's d destroyed. Okay. Let's go over there, get the health kit. That thing's destroyed, right? Ow, 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 ow. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Stop shooting me. Oh. 
Okay, I'm, I'm okay. It's dead. I don't have a banshee anymore. Oops. Another one of these, hey? You will. You better give me some ammo. Okay, the doors are opening all the way. Good, thank God. Okay, give me some ammo, or uh, should I go for ammo? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just gonna. I'm just sabotaging myself. Self sabot. Self sabotage. That's gonna make one big explosion. We just destroyed half the city. <laughs> Keep her steady, Mickey. You doing okay? Just glad we didn't go with your first plan. Look at those tunnels. Ones that aren't flooded are probably packed with buggers. Hell, I wouldn't go down there even if you ordered me to. Come on, Veronica. What could be more important than that carrier? My orders. And Buck? Call me Captain. Mickey, turn around. Find a safe place to set us down. What? Why? I lost something. Now I know where to find her. Finally, I'm finally about to make contact with another human being. <laughs> finally. Okay, locate underground entrance to search for Captain Dare. Mm, are you serious? How do I get there? Straight ahead, but it looks like I gotta go around this build. I gotta go around this building. Stupid. Oh, oh, can I go inside? Oh, this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> nice. Take the jump, dude. Why don't you talk on your comms and just say, I'm coming, Veronica, Captain Dare. Instead, he's just silent. How is she supposed to tell anyone else alive? Whoa. God, I'm so tired, dude. They've got me cornered. Hey, Captain Dare, I'm low on ammo. If you can feel me, I'm on sub level nine. Sub level nine, dude? Oh, we're at seven. We only got two more. Okay. I thought, okay. I thought we were at like one. Okay. We can make this easy peasy. Not a problem. No problemo. So just like that, we're on the next level. So we're going to try to blast through this one even faster than, than the other one. Got my pistol. Got a shotgun. We're ready. Got grenades. Three. Remember, you can carry three because we're just regular humans. And Spartans can only carry two for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Speaking of, uh, as I said, mentioned, can I speak? Can I say something? Can I, can I please speak with proper English that it makes comprehensible sense for once? What I was saying, or what I meant to say, was when I woke up today, took like a, a maybe half a scoop or two thirds of a scoop, a pre workout to wake me up. This is after like four to five hours of sleep. So I'm dead tired already. On my way to work, I pick up two Rockstar drinks. I'm a monster guy, but those Rockstar, those Rockstar 180 milligram caffeine cans, there's like bubblegum, blue raspberry or something, and uh, marshmallow. They're all disgusting. But I bought two of the cotton candy ones, which is the least gross ones. One in the morning and then one in the afternoon. And, um, I felt like dying all day today. <laughs> I think, I gotta stop drinking caffeine, man. It's, it's, I rely on it way too much. I never used to drink it as much until, uh, I don't know, actually. 
It just I just started picking it up recently because I'm just just so busy. Get home from work, edit a video till bedtime or past bedtime actually. I usually want to I want to go to sleep by 10, but instead I, I go to sleep at like 12 or 1 and I have to wake up at 6:30. Over time, not getting that much sleep messes with you. <laughs> uh, it 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 really fatigues you. Been trying to get down to the next level checking my team, but this stack is locked down tight. That's crazy, dude. Open it up, please. There we go. I'm going to raise this up. And uh, maybe I can try to save this guy. Maybe not. I don't know. I think, don't they take him out or maybe... No, we can make him survive. I think you'll get an achievement if you actually make him survive. What's wrong with you, Virgil? You're trying to get me killed? Warning. Hitchhikers may be escaping. Oh yeah, Virgil is the AI, right? The superintendent? I don't know. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the AI that, that you hear all across town. Uh, just get a random hair tickling the inside of my ear. I don't like it. I don't like it. Long hair problems. I never used to have long hair. I just started growing it out when uh the pandemic started and you know what i love having long hair i think it suits me more than having short hair plus i look like a douchebag when i have long hair so i'll get the double zero on the sides and back and then have like i start growing the, the top out i used to have it super short in high school it'd be like that long on the top it looked disgusting it looked like i was in the military or something but then i start growing it to like this and then eventually like this on the top and that looks a lot nicer with like shorter sides with a nice fade and then one day i'm just like screw it let's just keep growing it just keep growing it and look at me now two years later and i am a god i think despite me being such a big halo fan actually because i'm such a halo fan i think i'm not gonna watch the halo show i've seen nothing but bad takes on it or sorry not bad takes takes on how bad the show is and how they're getting it all wrong, which it makes sense. It seems like I read in one of the Reddit comments that it seems like they just inserted a generic story for a sci-fi show and then slapped the Halo tag on it. It doesn't look it doesn't look that interesting and it doesn't follow the lore of the games. Like what can you expect, I guess? But I mean no. You're going down to level nine too. Huh. Guess I could use some backup. Welcome. Access granted. Isn't this guy like, uh... Go ahead, trooper. Are you gonna betray me? Are you like the patches of the Halo universe? Anyway, that Halo show doesn't look that good. The, the, uh, I don't know. You hear that? Buggers! Down on your level! Oh no! Dude, he's dead. Okay, maybe it was gonna... He was gonna betray me or something. I'm pretty sure there's something later on that uh, connects to or reveals that he was uh, he's not so much of a good guy. I think maybe he's not even a real police officer. If you're if you're familiar with Halo, you're you should be a fan. You wouldn't want to just make a show off of something you've only just heard of and don't really know the story. So, who the hell made this Halo show? <laughs> Why does it not follow pretty much anything with the plot of the games? Huh? That's how you kill a franchise. A beloved franchise. 343 almost killed Halo with Halo 5. They definitely redeemed themselves with Halo Infinite. I don't care what people say. I've been playing Halo Infinite as much as I can, that Battle Royale kind of mode, the Lone Wolves one. It's not Battle Royale, it's like you versus like 12 other people or something. Or like 13 or 15 other people, something like that. That's pretty fun. Um, as for like, I haven't tried all the new maps yet. I've only tried the Battle Royale kind of kind of map. This, this is the room. Yeah, if you stand here, you'll get an achievement. And I don't, I don't think it opens up, but there's like a lady in there or something. And uh, I guess that's uh, what the guy was going to see or something. I can't remember. I think I think he's a bad guy. I don't know. 
He seemed pretty suspicious when he said, Oh, you're going down there too? Hey, I'm not... I thought it'd be a lot slower carrying this thing. Let's keep this around, see how long I can carry it for and stand the slower pace. It's not that much slower. Let's hope I can kick some ass with it. That's a lot better. Welcome. Access granted. Thank you. Is this the final room? Is this the final room? To see Buck's girlfriend. I can see how this is 16 minutes long. It's not so much it's... It's, it's long to get through. Or maybe it is... Just, I don't know. What can I even say? I can't even think it's right you. now. I thought... Never mind. What was your name again? Inside. Now. This way and stay quiet. Some idiots blew the building at the top of the shaft. Woke the whole hive. Down there? That's the superintendent. The AI that runs every system in the city. My mission... Our mission is to secure the superintendent's data. Problem is, there's only one way in from here, right through the hive. It would have been suicide to go alone, and I was hoping for more backup. But I guess you're it. You've been solo since we dropped. Fighting on the surface? Unless you spent all night hiding in your pod, you must know your stuff. Show me. Man, this guy didn't do anything for this whole game. All he's been doing is just maybe killing, like, maybe a squad, a couple squads of, of Covenant. How are we supposed to know he's good? We've been playing as everybody else, not him though, so much. All he's been doing is just wandering around the streets late at night. That's about it, dude. She must assume we're some kind of hero because we lasted this long, but no, we just woke up. We're a, de we're a degenerate. Degenerate. Hey, this is a firefight map area. It's getting warmer. Huh. Oh yeah, there's a oh there's a hive. Let's see if we can find a way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you remember the hive. Okay, where do I have to go? In there. This is actually the map that me and some other kid that I knew when I was younger. We played split screen firefight to get one of the vid masters we have to play as four players get to the fourth set I found an elevator. Come to me. with certain skulls on and we did it we had two extra controllers plugged them in and uh left them st uh, hiding in a corner to be safe while uh me and the kid just played and we made it all the way it took us about three four hours something like that maybe not that long i don't remember it was a long time ago but a set does take a while to get through, and it takes even longer the the higher uh, you go, because you get more skulls, it gets more difficult, there's more enemies, but each round consists of three waves, so you have to get to three, hold on, it starts with waves. You have about five waves, I think, of enemies. Every time you go through five waves, that's one round finish. Finished. Each set contains three rounds. So you're doing five, ten, fifteen waves of enemies per set. And each each wave takes ranges. It ranges. It's it's not like a minute. It takes a couple it takes like a couple minutes. It can take five maybe 10 minutes maybe 15 if you have lots of skulls on and you're on like the final wave we can't go back. before we the round ends you got chieftains and all kinds of very tough enemies whoa i forgot there's like a sub level but i'm not going to go to the sub level as she's getting obliterated by bullets or by plasma good shooting yeah i hate having visor on it makes everything so like bright 
but it, it really helps because this game naturally is really bright the saturation is like really cranked really high or maybe it's cra i think it's lower it's low but the brightness is cranked way up when you're in the lit the daylight the lit zones so you kind of it kind of forces you to turn visor on all the time but then when you're in the light zones it really makes it really bright of course of course we got a chieftain nope i'm not going to pay for anything dude get the hell away from me okay now i have to get away 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 he's got invincibility on Oh my god, she's gonna die. Ow. Okay, he gone. Let's grab this uh, gravity hammer and let's smash. Smash! Yeah. I played a Halo game or two. I've played, I've been a Spartan. Many times. You have no clue, woman. No clue. No clue who the hell I am. Who the hell are you? Don't shoot. We've seen them before on other ops, but we've never gotten this close. Best we can tell, they're prisoners or slaves. Either way, they don't like the Covenant any more than we do. I spotted this one in the tunnels. Watched it access comm lines, security cameras, traffic controls, you name it. Eventually it holed up here. Oni calls them engineers. Believes they're some sort of biological supercomputers. If I'm right, this one has taken the superintendent's data and combined it with its own. Everything we want to know about the Covenant. What they're looking for under the city is right in here. Damn! Buggers must have raised the alarm. Center, but we're coming out. We? No time to explain, but do not, I repeat, do not shoot anything pink. Whatever you say, come on! Those brutes are here for the engineer. They'll kill it if they get the chance. You, stay behind me, okay? Alright, we're gonna get the hell out of here, blast our way out. We're gonna come out blasting, dude. Last long in a I'm trying to wake myself up. <laughs> get some! Get some! I love the smell of plasma in the morning. Hey, Buck. How's it going, buddy? This is our exit, rookie. Head through the door. Thanks for saying hi. Jeez. Rookie, I could use a hand over here. Come on. Shh. 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 Be very quiet. Don't accidentally press the grenade button again. How about this uh, asset. Feel free to fill me in whenever. <clears throat> now, Buck. Not wake up a single bug. We did it. No, we didn't. Ah, oh, yeah. One more. One more. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay, where's the next? Uh, where the, no. Uh. Are you stupid, dude? They're dead. They're dead. Shush, shush. Don't you dare shoot a single bullet, Buck. I swear to God. That wasn't me. I didn't wake him up. Somebody else did. It was one of you. One of you two. And if we die, it's all your freaking fault. Elevator, come on. Elevator. This has got to be it. This has got to be the end of the mission, right? Yeah, it is. It's got to be. I think so. Oh, Lord, that thing stinks. Kind of reminds me of my... <coughs> what was that for? Abandoning the mission. What mission? You dropped off the grid. My squad was scattered. <coughs> Thank you. <clears throat> you did good, rookie. No doubt. We're not out of this yet. Captain? How cool little detail back? I Let us clear I knew about but I forgot is on yeah, rookie and Buck's shoulder. I'm not sure about the other people, depending on what shoulder shoulder armor they're wearing. Uh it says uh their blood type. Which is pretty cool. Let's see, where's Buck? Yeah, we're never gonna get him to hold still now, are we? Unless he stops like an idiot. Stop, stop like an idiat. Oh positive, right? Or oh negative. Okay, shut up. I'm going, I'm going. I'm just gonna solo this like a hero. A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Come on, keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Yes! Now they're panicked. I think that was it. We did it. Hell yeah. Okay, give me a health pack, dude. When did this happen? They started showing up right before I went underground. And you waited until now to tell me that. Oh, I'm sorry. I was a little busy making sure perfume over here didn't take around and blow us all up. Eddie Buck, always thinking with his gun. You haven't changed one bit. Me? What about you? Oh, so full of big only secrets. Couldn't even give a guy a yes or no answer. That's not fair. Oh, you got that right. I never thought I'd see you again. Yeah? Well, here I am. We need to move, now. Were you too busy to plan our exit? I stole a phantom, yes, thank you. I hid it in the shipyards down the highway. But I only have room for two, so that thing's gonna have to sit in your lap. The engineer, where did it go? Keep me covered. And try to keep up. Take my advice, rookie. You ever fall for a woman? Make sure she's got balls. <laughs> uh I guess I can kind of see how they'd bring back, out of all the ODST characters, Buck. He is the most memorable one. Obviously, they wouldn't, they wouldn't bring back uh, the rookie for Halo 5 and make him a Spartan. I guess, he, I guess, like, yeah. But why, why have all people Buck, though? There's a lot more characters that they could have brought into Halo 5. Nah, Buck's pretty good. Buck's pretty good. Maybe he's the only redeeming thing for Halo 5 that, that they got. So, sticking with Halo tradition, finish off the last mission with the Warthog run. It's not really a run. You kind of just drive around on a big highway, shoot as many enemies as you can, while the slow elephant, that's the vehicle here. Or is that a mammoth? No, that's an elephant. Mammoths are way bigger. Got to defend the slow ass elephant while there's little squads of Covenant flailing about. It's not that bad, and it gets a lot better once we get a Gauss Gauss hog it shoots the Gauss, the Gauss, uh, the Gausses. Oh yeah, I don't know if I said it while I was recording, but 
in the Savile Highway. Remember these big pieces? That's part. That's parts of the elevator that was uh, blown up at the beginning of ODST and like at the uh, Metropolis mission in Halo 2. The elevator blew apart and it was so tall that it made it. It landed so far away that even at Savile Highway, outside of the city, there's still chunks of the elevator just lying around. Because imagine, imagine how tall this thing would be to get to space. So if that thing fell over, that would cover kilometers, kilometers. Oh yeah, dude. Hold up. It's a gas hog. Yep. It's a Give me that. Get in. Get in. Buck. Get in, dude. Hurry up. Get in, dude. Don't have time for you diddly dallying, Halley Hallian. Okay, this might be the last chunk or second last chunk. Yeah. Maybe it's the second last chunk. This mission actually has a vidmaster challenge another one i didn't get in uh for halo to get the legendary recon armor legit i know in halo master chief collection like this this version of the game you unlock recon basically by not even trying in halo 3 but back in the days when halo 3 was just on 360 getting recon armor was uh, a feat of legend you would have to unlock certain Vidmaster challenges set by uh, Bungie. Two of which, actually four of which, needing four player co-op. And I only got one out of those three. And then those other challenges like play on the seventh day of the uh, of a month or something. I think originally it was seventh day of the seventh month. So once a year you could get that challenge, July 7th. But I think they just changed it to just playing, just, just to play on the seventh. Of a month i'm not too sure i'm probably wrong actually i don't know okay maybe this is the last chunk i don't remember I, I don't know no there's one more there's one more after this I don't, I don't know i don't know man there's like all these areas look the exact same it's hard to remember how many there actually are but yeah, the Vidmaster for this one is to play four-player co-op legendary with the Iron Skull on, which means if one person dies, you go back to the checkpoint. There's no respawning of your teammates when one dies. Nope, you just go back to the checkpoint. There we go. I remember the Scorpion. I just didn't want to say so to spoil it. No, 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 no. I don't want to drive the... I don't want to... No, let me drive this thing. There we go. Where's Buck? Get in, dude. Okay, this plant's about to get glassed. That's a super supersonic, super hot heat heat beam. And it's going to blast the earth and turn all the minerals on the ground into basically glass. Or it's going to shoot hot plasma. And then once that stuff cools down, it's just going to look like a, almost like a black sea of glass. That's what happened on Reach, the planet Reach. One of uh, humanity's greatest feats is expanding, expanding the human human race to other planets. Halo Reach being one of the other planets, and the Covenant just glassed that thing, dude. Okay, it's powering up. We got to we got to stop that thing. Okay, this planet screwed. Yeah. Oh, see, see what I mean? Breach. We can stop them. We can stop them. They're just a small team of ODSTs. We can stop them, right? Okay. Okay. Blast his ankle. Oh, dude. That elephant's toast, dude. I think it's it's impossible to blast the ankle off this thing. You can't do it. Kind of weird. This is like the same day, or I guess the day after the Metropolis mission where we fought the Generation 1 or 2 Scarab. I think it's the 2. But now they have Generation 3s only. You never see the Generation 2, which is. It'd be cool to see. I got a Tier 1 ass. 
Yes, ma'am. All right, so this is another little defense defense area taking place on one of the areas that was used as a firefight map. Helps new players get familiarized with their future battles in firefight mode, which is pretty cool. I'm going to save my rocket launcher for uh, the heavier foes. Like We're going to get a, chief, a couple chieftains, maybe a vehicle or two. Probably wraiths. Maybe a goat banshee. I don't know. We'll see. I should maybe get something plasma-like for these brutes. That was a very good throw. I'm so good at throwing. There we go. Right in the... Ah. Okay, give me your shotgun. Give me your mauler. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take I'll take that shit. Hey, this is working pretty good. Oh, he's got a he's got a fuel rod gun. No, don't punch me. Reload that thing, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright, buddy. Come after me. Come after me. I dare you, dude. I see you're invincible. I uh let me get out of the way here until you're not. Fuck, are you stupid? Did that get him? That didn't get him. This will. Okay, Buck's fine. He's fine. Just got a little scratch. There we go. That was it, right? Oh, man. I'm going to order such a big meal after this. I don't even care. It was payday today. Got, got I could order whatever I want from Skip the Dishes. Let's go. Let's get something fat, disgusting, and greasy. We're about to get glassed. This is how we all die. Spoiler, we all die. Sorry. Just kidding. Don't don't leave. Don't leave. I was kidding. I was kidding. Don't leave. Wow, nuts. What can I say? It was a hell of a night. Easy does it. We went through hell for that? Give him some meds, would you? It's important. It knows things. <laughs> Heck, Cuddy. I wasn't talking about the alien. Mickey, I'm sending you a very special co-pilot. Oh, come on! I want one of those things in here. It won't bite, and unlike you, it knows what to tell those cruisers to keep them off our tail. I think they're too busy to care. Looks like they found what they're looking for. What about you? What about us? Win this war? Then ask me that again. Lord Hood may have given you clearance, but it was my op and it's my interrogation. We only captured one. It's very delicate. Don't worry. I know what the alien's like. It has access to the Covenant Battle Net? 
Limited, but yes. We're not entirely sure how it manages a remote connection to the... What? Whoa, stand down, stand down! Sergeant Major, please. It's extremely flammable. The brutes. The bastards who put bombs on your buddies and killed millions of my people. They're digging a mighty big hole. You're gonna tell me exactly what they're looking for. And then you're gonna help me stop them. Oh, I can look. Obviously, this is way more important to look at than what the story is. It's a monkey people. See, he lit a cigar. There you go. There's all a hint for you. You can look to the left and <laughs> you see Buck interacting with one of the monkey men from Halo 3. Uh, well, uh, that was Halo 3 ODST, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm very sorry I was so tired, but I can't take any more pre-workout for a while because I'm going to die from a heart attack. So thank you guys for watching. I got to edit this video right away, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Halo Reach is going to come soon. Not 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 within a few days, but it'll be, it'll be here soon. Okay? Got, got some plans coming up right away. Okay? So just hang in. Buckle up, buckaroos. Anyway, we'll see you. It'll be a video tomorrow, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.